So, I was supposed to see Twisters this morning. We got twins! Twins! And then I kinda changed my mind cause I guess I just don't really wanna... Hello. I kinda changed my mind cause I just didn't really wanna see it that bad. So I decided to go see Long Legs instead because I'm always down to watch Nicolas Cage do something insane. I want your kid! The kid can You will tell me I would eat just think it's so good! Oh. Do you have to have your entire butt in my face? All right, so Lon Lez is written and directed by Osgood Perkins, and it stars Michael Monroe as Lee Harker, who is an FBI agent in pursuit of a serial killer played by Nicolas Cage. When she starts piecing together all of the clues, she realizes that her role in all of this may be more prominent than she thought. Okay, so right off the bat, I'm sure everybody's gonna be talking about the Nicolas Cage performance in the movie, and I'll just go ahead and tell you right now, yes, his performance is crazy, it's insane, it's un unhinged. What you might not expect though is that he's not really in the movie that much. I mean he's in it a good amount but he's not in it in it. You know what I mean? We spent a lot of the movie actually with Micah Monroe's character Lee and I actually didn't mind that because I think she's doing a great job playing this character. Her character is very stoic. She doesn't really show a whole lot of emotion but she is very dedicated to her job. You can tell that she's very focused. She's remarkably intuitive to an almost supernatural extent but I'll let you see the movie for that. No spoilers from me. But yeah I thought she was great and there's another FBI agent in the movie played by Blair Underwood and his name is Agent Carter in the movie and I felt like they had a lot of chemistry because Agent Carter is a lot more laid back. He's a lot more witty. He's kind of got that dry sense of humor, kind of sarcastic and I felt like those two contrasted each other very well. I felt like it added a really interesting dynamic to those characters. But yeah, I thought the cast did a really good job. Yeah, I didn't, I didn't have any issues with the cast and I also didn't have any issues with the direction. I felt like, first of all, the cinematography in this movie is gorgeous. There's a lot of really wide shots and you get a really good scope of all of these scenes which is great because they like to hide little images in the background. I, I want you guys, if you see this movie, I want you guys to pay particular attention to the backgrounds to see if you spot anything weird because I spotted quite a few weird things. I really thought this was going to be a horror movie and in some ways it is. There are a couple of shots in this movie that are a little haunting um, and there's some, there's some gore here and there that's definitely Definitely impactful. I was squirming in my seat, but there's also some really good dry humor in this movie as well. You know, it, it, it's not just on the edge of your seat intense for the whole ride. There are some moments of levity in there to break it up that I appreciated. It actually reminded me a lot of Birth Rebirth. I, re I reviewed that too. If you want to check it out, I'll put a link right there and I'll put it in the description. But yeah, this movie is a lot more of a suspenseful thriller. It's a lot more of a mystery thriller, if you will. As a mystery, I thought it was great. It definitely had me on the edge of my seat. I was itching to find out what was going on. The plot was definitely interesting. And if I'm being very vague about the story, it's because I went into the movie not knowing really anything about it. And I want you to have the same experience because with that experience I had, I really, really enjoyed it. Not one of my favorite movies of the year, but definitely one of the better ones. I mean, it's, it's just so well executed. The direction is on point. The script is great. The cast is really good and it's not too long. It's pretty brief. And the way that things unfold, it honestly leads up to a pretty effective third act. Yeah, I, I really dug on this movie. I'm actually pretty interested to see it again. I'm going to give Long Legs a strong B+. I got a question for you. What's your favorite Nicolas Cage movie? Go ahead and drop it in the comment section below. I think you better pull the trigger because I don't give a fuck. I'm ready. Ready for the big ride, baby. Also, if you're new over here, I just released a video covering my top 80 favorite movies of all time. So go ahead and go check that out as well. Put the link right there and in the description. Hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Take it easy.